next thing we would love you to add in if you have access to a nice sand pit or uh, sand rolls. We would love to do these after one run every week. First couple of that we would do focusing on strengthening our lower legs, so our calves, our shins, and especially around our ankles, or a few of our walking drills. When you start walking, we are on our toes, and when we take small steps, after each step, we're gonna activate our shins and lift those toes up. And go toes up, just like that. You should really feel your ankle work here. Your calves are always flexed, and you're gonna flex your shins and ankles as you slowly walk down. When you get to the end, go ahead and walk backwards on our heels. This is primarily gonna focus on those shins. If you, you can switch it up, go toes in, toes out, or toes neutral. Just go slow walks back. Dorsiflex the entire time. Those are the walking drills. Okay, this is a set of plyometric drills that you can do that are in the sand. So they reduce the impact because it's a soft surface, but it means that we can also get that impact in your legs to start strengthening. So the first one is a box jump, and it's quite fun because you have to plan it. So I'm gonna hop forward, sideways, and backwards. And then forwards, sideways, and backwards. And then I'll swap feet, and I will go forward, sideways, backwards, the backwards one's kind of hard, forwards, sideways, backwards. You can do that like three to five times and then move on to the next one. So I'm going to come back a bit and this one we call skaters. I'm going to start neutrally and then I'm going to distribute my weight from side to side. As far as I can get in that jump. Next in the theme of strengthening the feet, we're going to dig a hole with our toes. Pretty simple. So you stand there, and we're going to start pulling. You should feel the bone right on the arch of the foot. And you can dig no further, push the sand back, and we're digging again. We're going to strengthen those feet. Two more to add to the list of sand drills. These are definitely more explosive. You don't have to do them every time we do sand drills. You should do them probably in a rotation but they give you options of things to do. First, I'm gonna do frog jumps outwards and I'm gonna to try to reach as far as I possibly can. When I come back, I'm gonna do bounding. Bounding is just like running and keeping that front leg in the air much longer than what you normally would. And that's basically how you do bounding. So frog jumps and then bounding, here you go. combination of strength and explosive exercises that we could do are uh, single leg hops and then high skips. So I'll, I'll demonstrate single leg hops going down. I'll start on my right. Halfway down I'll switch to my left. If you can do about 20 yards of each, that's totally fine. And then on the way back I'll show you guys skip for height. And skipping for height is just that. Be as explosive as you can going straight up, not out. We're going to do about 20 yards of high skips. First, again, we're going to do single leg hops. Now high skips. Here's another sand drill that kind of caught a few people out this year, but if you can master it, then it becomes pretty easy. It's very similar to one that we do in activation, and it's just a single leg squat squat that we add a hop into. So I'm going to put one foot down that I'm going to squat into. I'm going to put the opposite arm into like a running arm here and I've got my knee bent, I've got my leg out and this is going to go into a continuous movement. So I'm going to come up, use that arm to balance, back down. Doing about five on each leg is probably all you can start off with and then when you get a bit stronger you can do a number of sets of them. 